Hi everyone, my name is Tony Darrock and welcome to the How To Craft Network studio, home of Stamps By Me. If you are watching now, I'm going to be using some fabulous products for HSN, item number 811161. This is amazing. Three beautiful 3D embossing folders with coordinating dies. Let me show you. They are so, so pretty. They have dies so you can decoupage them, build them with the pads if you want to, take them out of the page should you wish, or you can use them on their own without the die. Now we have Lily. I will show you these because I do appreciate they're very difficult to show on camera. We have a freesia and we have a beautiful, beautiful rose. Let me just show you better some beautiful samples because then you will get a true idea. There we go. Look at the dimension on that 3D like no other. And we always say that a beautiful card always looks well in white. Then we've done a good job. That is your lily. Then we have your beautiful rose. I'll tilt it forward. Look at the dimension in those cards. And then we have the fabulous Grisha. So let's get straight into demonstration and show you exactly what you can achieve with these because these are quick crafting. They really, really are. So if you need quick cards, then these are going to be your go-to. So let's go with the Lily on this occasion. Now you do get the coordinating die in the back and I am going to show you how I like to use the die with my embossing folder because having that die really, really does take it to that next level. I'm just going to take a piece of white card, black, sorry, black cardstock and I'm just going to take the die and I'm just going to pop it onto here and I'm just going to run it through my die cutting machine. I'm not going anywhere near the embossing folder yet. So let's just pop this on here and let's just pass this through. Really, really easy. And these fit through all of your die cutting machines. High quality steel. So you're going to get that cut every time. So I'll just run this one through. So this is creating that beautiful outline. Very simply. And then you pop out all of the pieces and we have our sort of outline design, very simple. So then I am going to take the embossing folder, set that to one side. And I'm just going to line this piece up in the embossing folder. Now, when I take the embossing folder, I always feel the rise and fall. So I would like the design to push up. So I need to make sure that the elements are raised on the back and then it will push the design through to the front of my cardstock. I'm just going to take the die cut and I'm just going to place it into the embossing folder. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, you might want to tape it down, but I just like to now just go for it because I did it with tape a few times and I don't feel there is a need now, but it is personal preference. Give it a go with tape and then see how you get on. Just hold that element in there like that. You can see the beautiful design in there, how incredible that 3D is in there. And then I'm just going to run this through my little machine. Get that 3D to push through that card and give us that shop bought finish, which we all want to achieve. And then when we open our embossing folder. Now, oh gosh, it's so pretty. Let me show you now how I can make this piece of artwork come to life. It's super exciting. Now the collection does come with all three and all three coordinating dies. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my gold paint here. Now you can use all of the mediums that you have in your stash. You can use your gilding flakes, your gilding waxes, your paints, your metallic paints, anything you have, white pigment ink pads, anything. And this is the beauty about um, 3D embossing folders. You really do get that dimension without little to no product to have to use within. So I'm just gonna take some of this lovely, lovely gold here. I'm just gonna dab the excess off on my finger and I'm just gonna brush lightly over the design and hopefully get this piece of artwork to come to life. I'm just lightly touching over the embellishment, get that colour to shine on through. 
It'll look like a gilded masterpiece. You can do this with all three designs too. And I will hold it up in a second. Don't be fearful of getting that colour laid down. Just do it in small stages. And I will show you right now how beautiful this is. So hopefully, let's just get a piece of white card stop so you can see the detail here. That does look like a metal embellishment. Now, if you wanted to be a little bit more creative and change the colour from just one colour to several colours, you really, really are going to have wow to cards. These are truly, truly beautiful 3D embossing folders with complementing outline dies to give you the capability to create more than just one card, flat card. You really can now build that dimension, enjoy the process, and get those shop felt cards. That you've made yourself how amazing is that don't forget to check out the rest of the qr codes they are updated constantly so you're always going to get that further inspiration have a great day everyone take care bye, -bye.